right, I got a few comments before we put the stuff together. Now here I have a case that I thought I was going to use, but you see it has a crack right here. Uh, and the that frequently happens because the casting core may be offset when they pour the casting so there's not as much meat right here as there is on the other side for instance so those are the kind of things that you need to fix before you go any farther if you fix your transmission and put it together and that breaks later then you won't have a way to fix that so you can either braze that or weld it or if you have more transmission cases laying around use a different case so in my case I'm going to use a different transmission case I'll fix this one later if I need to use it now another issue is these bushings that go in your differential you can't buy the right size bushing anymore so you have to buy one that's a quarter inch longer and then cut it off to length so you need to be able to do that uh, as long as you get them close it would be okay try to get them within fifteen thousandths or so of the nominal length now when you press those in there sometimes I have bushings of the proper length pressed in there flush on the side but they hold the gear out from being able to touch this casting and that's a problem because you have to have enough space in between these gears to get both of your roll pins in there where the axles are so if you're bushing these gears actually go in the same hole and your bushing rides up against that or very close to it so if your bushing is too long and it holds this gear out that can interfere with you getting the roll pins in to the axles so if I put it together and I see that these gears are not touching the casting on the inside that means the bushing that I just put in there is holding the thing away from there so what I do is push this gear back in the press push that bushing back out and then cut it or file it off flush so you don't want to damage your wear surface here this rides right up against the outside casing So you need to fix that problem before you go any farther or you won't get the axles in. You won't get the pins pressed into the axles. So do you have to cut these off flush? I'd say maybe not because here's one I took apart and the bushing still sticks out right here. You can see in the mating part that that's where it rode for years and it never did touch this piece of metal so I have had problems where I've had to take them back apart and clean that off so that I could get the transmission together so now I always clean those off flush because I don't think the extra clearance is enough to hurt you it's definitely not going to have alignment problems with that gear
These are all the differential parts. Got them all cleaned up, ready to go back together. I got new bushings in this piece. They've been pressed in and then reamed back out to the proper size. Everything else has been just cleaned. Actually made some new axles. The other ones were pretty well worn out and frequently the key slots take a lot of abuse so I'm gonna put all new bushings and bearings and seals in this transmission so I made some new axles for it alright so the first step is uh, these gears have to go in the center You got one on each side. Sometimes one axle fits one gear better than the other, so you see that one doesn't fit that well on that. One. But it fits good on this one. So we'll just keep them in that match set there. So this one You have to put your gears in position first, both of them. Once you put one axle in there, you don't have room to put the other gear in later. So you need it in that configuration to get ready to put your pin in. I'm going to use the old pins, but I'm going to rotate them to where they're touching on a different place. I'll use a totally different wear surface. Alright, I have to go over to my block so we can put this in with a punch. Alright, I got this blocked up on some blocks of wood so it'll sit good. So you don't have to fight it. Try to position my pen so it's in a new position. So so the old wear mark doesn't line up with where the new wear mark is going to be. Now I use an undersized hammer to get it started. So I can fit inside this hole right here.
there you use one pin going through both of the shafts. You just gotta line up the second pin, second shaft once your pin gets down there. your one pin going through both shafts. feels pretty good. It'll bind if you let the axles droop, but that's because you only got one bearing, a bearing on one end of it to support it. So. Alright, that's it for that part.